number one of 1,500. Hello, thank you for watching. First things first, we do have a Twitter. Follow us there and we also have an Instagram and we will be doing something very special with our Instagram. I will explain later. Facebook is too, is up and running and follow us right here if you're watching on YouTube. If you are watching on our website, www.allsapiens.com, thank you oh so much. You are an absolute superstar for watching it there. We have a discuss feed, so we can post kind of relevant kind of data and information and more lengthy, lengthy, lengthy discussions. But first thing, these are my paintings. And this is one of the many that I will paint of some things that have become problems, problems in society. I am painting them in my own particular kind of vision and style. So bear with me here, okay? So let's talk about some problems. So problems, some are not really problems to us, but they've been made to be problems by some problematizers. And people will say things like they use the word problematic, but this one really, really, really is a problem. It's the, uh, the two movie problem. Problem. Okay, two movie problem. Wherein, wherein you have, okay, okay. I'll give you an example. Let's see, 3D movies. Okay, what do we do? What do we do? We walk into a 3D movie cinema, and we all have to wear spectacles. We all have to wear our 3D glasses, of course, because without it, everything is a jarring, nauseating kind of mess. You can't literally see any kind of sense just with your naked eye. You need to all wear your your spectacles, your ideological spectacles. These senses just called 3D glasses, but what do we use to cover our eyes and see the cinema outside of the cinema, the movie theatre of life? What do we use? What do we see? We all need the vision, the perspective to kind of navigate. It's like, speaking of movies, what did Spider-Man recently say? He said, why does he wear those goggles? Why does he cover his eyes? Because without it, everything is just too much information, too much for his spidey sense to control. So when he wears the spectacles, he can he can somehow narrow it down and think then he has a cause of action and what to do, what to say, what to make sense of all this information. It's a lot, you know, so which which lens, which ideological lens shall we see the movie that plays outside the cinema? There is no there, there, there really is no view from nowhere, really, right? You have to look through a prism or something, or through your, your own perspective. Okay, we all have ours. That's fair enough. But do we have it naturally? Do we kind of appropriate some? Or do we follow those from those around us? Or is there more to that? So once, once, once upon a time, say before the US election, I was around some good friends of mine, very good friends of mine, and then out of the blue, randomly, uh, things just as they do, they go into politics and, you know, some people, some people tend to see things that aren't really there and, wow, like this was, this was quite an experience. We've all been there, you know, this kind of experience where somebody says the most amount of diabolical, disparaging kind of, you know, this, this, we can believe in things about the other. Of course, you know what it is like with some people who, I won't say anymore, but yes, just say, I'm going to be blunt and say they were absolutely uncharitable and almost just to the point of demonic to Republicans. And I I was taken aback by that as, as one should be when the most egregious statements are made upon whole groups of people, 60% of the population, 40% of the population, 50% of the population, south or north of that sort of figure. That's the majority of the people you're talking about and you're speaking the most horror, right? No, 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 no reaching out to the other. No, no olive branch, no, oh, I see. I, I didn't really see it from your perspective. Let's listen, let's hear some more. No, no, it's just like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. So I was like, all right. Is that how it is? Is that how it is? So let's try and play this game. I don't like calling it a game, but to them it's a game. With me, it's it's more serious than that. But let's play this game. So, okay, ideological lens. What kind of movie do you see? Can I take it? Can I try this and flip it and break it? So like, let me take your lens. Let me take the, your spectacles, please. Let me try it. Let's let's see the world through Hillary glasses. This was way before Trump. This was during the time and I was like have you seen this they're like no 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 this doesn't exist I was like okay so I'm gonna wear your glasses now let me let me wear the Hillary glasses Hillary glasses this doesn't really fit me but hello 
stay with you. I'm gonna focus. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see. Okay, so Hillary glasses. Oh wow, this is new. So wearing these, I see. I see. Ooh, I see all brown people. All brown people are are infantilized, and all black people are viewed as helpless, pathetic, even. And yellow people. Well, yellow people. Well, they're just not seen at all. Yellow people just not seen at all with these weird spectacles. What kind of vision? What kind of ideological lens is this? What kind of perspective? What kind of movie am I watching? This is not the reality. This is not. This is not how it is. So, so really, like, what's going on here? Am I really doing this? Am I playing? Am I playing devil's advocate? Am I? No. I would rather try and be more sincere. Try and see what's there. Like, I'm not really, really playing devil's advocate. Well, well no. I'll stop for a moment. So, devil's advocate, surely that can only work if the person, the people have a concept of the devil. The devil. The devil inside. Good and evil. Good and evil in us all. Or, or else then, well, then you, you got like, like, you got like, like tribal righteousness, indignation, rage, and, and all that kind of non-thinking. You know, no thinking shall ever be allowed to take place. That's not good. That's not good. So what's going on here? Okay, I, I had another dear friend of mine and I didn't want to get into that kind of discussion because nobody ever really learns anything. They just stay in their little zones and the lessons never been learned by me or anybody else. So 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 here, so and then I saw something. I saw something. I saw something that saw what I saw and what I've been seeing, what we've been seeing for so bloody long. I looked at looked at just just the data no people just like you know machine learning whatever you call it like big big data a robot looking at all the trends and navigating the what the voting and what people are saying and what what's happening and it was like you know what my boy is gonna do it Trump's gonna win and everybody kicked off for the mighty fuss I was like what who, who, who are you really arguing with me us? What? What? Surely uh, I'm not the one you should be arguing with. And neither is the robot. Surely look at the data, right? Because that's what it's saying. It's saying, irrespective of opining or, you know, the usual suspects talking, 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 things that they don't really fully, fully, fully grasp. They're just trying to kind of talk about their class and how they view things. And I was like, no, no, look, look at the trends, follow the numbers. This is what it's going. What do you think about this? Because it's going to happen tomorrow. And lo and behold, I was, we were, we were vindicated and they haven't stopped since this going deranged and all sorts of stuff. And I was like, I don't want to be right here. I was just saying, why is nobody else thinking? Why is nobody else thinking? Why am I the only one thinking? That's not very good. And that behavior where you kind of demonize the other, that's not good as well. Like, come on people so why is it happening you know which one do we choose we don't choose we don't choose we follow we follow our tribe you know so i just wanted to to stop think look listen you know i'm trying to I'm trying to i'm trying to be a good christian i'm trying to trying to I'm just following my path. My path is just to always, always, always be ready to discover what I don't know, what I, what I don't want to know, what upsets me, what really it shouldn't really upset me. It's just what's reality. It's just the truth. I shouldn't, I shouldn't avoid this stuff. And so, you know, I'm trying to be sincere. I'm trying to be sincere. I'm trying to see all the movies at once. Not having two movies, having. 200 movies seeing everything and that and this and what I shouldn't see and what did you see what did you see madam oh you sir oh wow is that so how is that can you explain it to me oh I didn't know well now that I see it this way now that I know so like I really want to be that person you know but let's 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 keep 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 digging 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 deeper 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 some people use the word debunked and to say this has been done this is that we don't look at it again refuted no no that's not what they're saying they're really saying they're really saying i don't i don't want to look at this this is an almost like an argument from authority right it's like leave it but no don't leave it there's always something undiscovered undervalued unnourished unfavored there's something we don't know there's certainty but you know what certainty needs certainty always needs a little bit of doubt otherwise we get we don't know 
there's always there should be a bit of doubt. If you want to know, you got to doubt. You got to know, you want to doubt. I'm like, I love to doubt. I love to, I love to see other movies, other people's perspectives. But you know, how do we do that? So how do we do that? How do we do that? How do I do that? You know, but mine's a particular psychological quirk. I'm not sure everybody can do that. You know, so I'm trying to help. So maybe one, one way, one way, one way is to walk in the movie set metaphorically walk in walk in like see the people producing it how hard they work and how much fun they're having how much stress they're having what they're trying to execute they're just like you just like me this is like all of us it's it's, it's interesting it's cool it's it's original it's wow it's, it's like anything you can do it's 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 alive it's real and sit in the set and read the script before and then you understand what's coming next and it's nothing to be afraid of and you're there and like maybe you can you can you can watch it through their eyes and it's like that's how we should be seeing all all the truths all that's true all that we don't know all that's new all that it's all that it's human and like go 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 see it go see it for them and like otherwise you just see things in black and white black and white not not even black and white but you see things just in black and they'll see things just in white. No, there's there's no room for grey here. No, just just I, I see that you see this and that's good, that's bad and black and white and whoa and it's like whoa don't don't even don't even don't even get into technicolor like that's just mm, that's too real too real too real you know I've I've always I was I've always loved how others think I always love to have us perceive and the truth comes first before the bobbing and weaving and avoiding matters and you know it's all deceiving methods but you know devil's advocate it's not really that because you, you you do need a concept of like i said the good the evil the good the bad and knowing what's what's bad in you and us and what's bad in your soul and knowing that that could be you and they could be us so you know no 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 but let's Let's not think we know it all because life is made up of limited, confusing, contradictory, and maliciously doctored facts at times. You know, anyone says no otherwise is either sticking to such incredibly easy solved problems or all that they never encountered anything, anything outside their own comfort level. Or, or they may be so, so close minded that they shut out any evidence that, that challenges their beliefs. That's not good. No, that's not good. What is it? We can. Ooh, so like I said about Devil's Advocate and life is made up of all these conflicting things, but they conflict with your beliefs. That's when it gets really, 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 really real, you know? You know, you know. But here's one thing it's by, it's by no means an accident that pretty much all the research currently and historically shows that, let's be honest here, it's like demonstrates that can people with conservative temperaments tend to have a more intuitive and observational grasp with human nature as opposed to the individualized, rationalized form of um, inside the heads, liberals that tend to, you know, to, so what it is, what it is, to be blunt, Conservatives tend to understand liberals better than liberals understand conservatives. That's the truth of the matter here, because most of us have been of a liberal mind at some time, and like, you know, with, with more evidence and reality and more perspectives, you kind of see things as the way they are. And if the, the truth of the matter is, if the wings tend to tend towards caution and leave well enough alone that is a favor of the conservative zone so not not saying one is better than the other but that's just the way it is and if you so it's harder for you guys to it's harder for people that don't see that to see other people's movies and they get stuck in the rut and watching you know what to be saying you don't want to watch the same movie ever and ever again close the cinema close it just close it off just like all of us here you're not gonna ever leave the big wide world you want to see this repeated black and white movie and just have all the everything dubbed for you edited for you and you know filmed for you and that's not that's not remember it's just a movie it's not even real really like you know see what we're all saying here you know how do we do that how do we do that well again nothing's ever easy it's never 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 easy you know we can try and 
try and make better people of our supposedly I mean, the enemies, better better enemies, make them into our tribe so we don't dismiss them as the other. Like, let's 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 chop, chip, break, build up, craft, manufacture, weld, you know, kind of solder and bring bits together and create create this create not a monster but create not even a statue, not not something good, not nothing bad, but something that looks just like us. Just a man, a, not a straw man, a steel man. That's steel man, a steel man, steel man, and an and, and, and improvement of the other's position. The improvement of the their position, improving it. An argument that is harder for them to defeat than the original stated position argument. So you're making, you're building them up, you're building them up but to be better than you in some respects and you see all the good that's in their view, their movie and they're like, okay, they didn't even notice themselves because they're trying to defend themselves and like, you're raising them up to a level where they're like, okay, and they they, 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 they like you then and they're like, okay, this person is not, not to be demonized, okay? And you're obviously by virtue of doing that, you're like, you're seeing their eyes, you're seeing, you're humanizing them, you're loving them. So like, this is all good. This is, this is, this is seeing all the different movies, not just your perspective. So in contrast, you know, in contrast to the straw man, still man is, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a learning and learning and thinking and talking and having conversations together, you know, that's what it is. It's thinking. I do, I paint, I think, I like to paint, I like to think things through, paint about it talk about it so another thing that we get around it's it's okay that what is ignorance but ignorance never type of ignorance like willful ignorance willful willful ignorance in contrast to ordinary ignorance willful ignorance occurs when peace and person knows the truth and chooses to ignore it or abandon it you know what it is they, they know basically they know they, they refuse to abandon their false beliefs and pursue they don't pursue the development of further knowledge they stay in their belief there's that word belief that's the word it's belief beliefs beliefs move you people don't have ideas ideas have people you know ideas have people belief is so much of your sense of meaning of purpose of status of group of of feeling like you accomplishing something every day even the days you don't do anything it's like yeah i'm this and that's what i am even though you don't really know that do you your ideas are having you you're not controlling it the elephant is moving the right right so that's an issue, yeah? That's an issue, that's an issue. So, like, all for ignorance, you see? It's everywhere, it's everywhere. So, like, a uh, simple recipe how to... People people want a simple recipe. They want a simple recipe of how, how, how to live their lives and how to understand the world. They encourage each other to do the same. Or the people that they, they, they want to remain with. You know, they want to say, okay, this is how we're going to view the world. And anything outside is view. Well, it's not the kind of world you should be in. They encourage each other with increasing zeal to root out the heretics and wage war against the infidels. And, you know, you know how, like, true believers do not welcome any skeptics. Not skeptics. They burn them. They burn them. They burn them. And they use kind of these kind of, like, uh, rhetorical devices. You know, like, like what did Karl Popper say? He said, like, he said this. Okay, so unfalsifiable theories, right? Unfalsifiability is the hallmark of somebody who lives in belief, who lives in belief and ideology. So all roads, all roads, all roads will lead to one way. I give it, so like, 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 all roads lead to bigotry. You know, like, bigotry. All roads, it's, everything will be interpreted to be as such. So, you know, these are self-sealing, self-sealing, you know, kind of a nascent form of safe zone. So in extreme cases, you see, you know, self-sealing theories, they interpret all evidence against them as theory for the evidence in favour of their own theory. The more damning the counter evidence appears to be, the stronger the theory, right? This is political radicals. This is the extremes. Grip of ideology. They're only seeing one reason, right? So presented with evidence, they just say, you know, double down. This is this is exactly what we mean. This is exactly what we say, and they twist things around. These are literally uh, takes me back to 
something a little little different these like oh, alternative, alternative 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 facts here we go both statements can be true but which one is more relevant alternative facts you can split them up from like the, the noise so ask the right questions right if you use the wrong kind of phraseology in your question, you're gonna lead people astray. There's like less less clarity. So you get you get oh, but this says that and that says this. So like really we're just kind of just throwing fruit and poop at each other. No. Ask the right questions. Ask the right questions with clear clarity. And then use the right units. Cause then it's like what is it? What are you talking about? Okay age, race, sex, kind of income, nationality, culture, what are we actually using as units to analyse what we're talking about, to analyse it, right? Then you just get, oh, my fact is true, because it is true, and it also true, but alternative facts. Let's not try and mislead, okay? So, yeah, so, yeah, this is another problem of too many problems. So, you know, there are facts, there are and there are beliefs. Beliefs are the things you want so badly to believe in that they become almost like facts to you. You so badly want to believe in they're almost like facts to you and to you and your tribe. A man with a conviction is a hard man to change. He really is. A man with a conviction is a hard man to change. Tell him you disagree, he turns away. Show him facts and figures and he questions your sources or he questions your insanity. Appeals to logic fail. Of course they do. You can't see your point. You know. Suppose you presented with unequivocal, undeniable evidence that his belief is wrong because it doesn't relate to the truth or the facts of the matter at hand. What will happen? The individual will frequently emerge only unshaken but even more convinced of the false belief the false truth of his beliefs more than ever it's as if we ask ourselves can i believe this can i believe this you know unpalatable conclusions we also say must i believe this people come information seeking permission to believe and to other the other people because the social tribe is everything and the, the belief and just thinking they're right, not understanding anything. Away, your own movie forever and ever. Okay, now for the difficult part. That was difficult, but this is difficult in in another way. So every day, I will I will endeavour to post a, a video of my my thoughts, my 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 paintings and my perspectives or other people's perspectives not just mine this is all all or all or all collage of thoughts i will do one a day if it takes if it takes longer than expected i might even post two or three a day just so i can get the 1500 of them done maybe over 300 400 maybe paintings it's it's all ideas aesthetics it's all people it's things that are, are, are people find interesting people find fascinating not necessarily i find interesting or fascinating but they are for some and that that is enough so i i want i need to fund this and this is the way i'm funding it this way the yellow the pink the white the black the gray you see me wearing you can wear that or more i have 15 different colors we have 15 colors on the website i hope you're watching on the website you can just you can you can buy now here and here and here and everything is is just very straightforward uh, and also it will, it will show the community of people who do like to think the community of curious 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 people who don't who don't take themselves too seriously but take beauty ideas and other people's perspectives very seriously and it's it's just, it's wonderful to have this community so i will i will post on instagram some of you who want to be posted on the instagram so you get a bit of insta fame that's if you when you buy the t-shirts upon points of sale i will get into contact and say hey would you like to be featured on our instagram and we have a whole list of the community it's just a wonderful thing and thank you for supporting and here is the link and thank you so much